hi guys welcome back to my channel mi tutorials in this tutorial i'm going to teach you how to use the gate chart to display your kpis in your power bi dashboard i'm also going to teach you how to conditionally change the colors of the gate chart here so for example here we have not achieved the target so it is in red here we have over achieved the target here it's in darker green so you can choose the color based on what your requirement is if and if you notice here we also have the target line we have our minimum maximum and target line and what we have achieved so let's get started this is what we will be going to learn today so on the new page here what i'm going to do is i'm going to first show you what data that i have here so i have here i have my minimum kpi i have max kpi my target kpi and then my actual kpi that we have achieved now you can calculate these using dax measures uh, and there are lots of tutorials available on my channel how to do that you can please check them out so meanwhile uh, i'm going to click on the uh, visual over here sorry not this but the gate chart we have the visual over here now once you have this visual over here in the value field you can bring in the actual kpi that you have achieved okay right now it's showing all different values please uh, ignore that we'll have to do a couple of changes for that because we have multiple years data in this it is showing us like that so here we'll go we are going to filter only for one particular year in this so let's say we'll select 2022 here and it is now showing us the zero percent as minimum and maximum as 100 however we would still like to go ahead and add what our maximum numbers are because we don't want to see 100 here we want to see 125 percent so we'll add the minimum kpi here you can choose whatever that you want let's say if you want to start with 50 percent as minimum here you can choose that in the minimum kpi and then I, in my maximum kpi i have 125 percent you will see that this has been changed now and my target kpi what is our target that we are trying to achieve so that is 100 percent all right so we now have created a kpi now this is for the year uh, 2022 let us quickly go ahead and add a title here uh, i'm, I'm going to just call this as kpi for year 2022 all right let's give a quick background color uh, change the font color and middle align this okay so once you have this particular uh, 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 visual over here what we will now be going to do is let us add the uh, conditional formatting so that the visual changes color automatically okay so let's go to the data colors here under the format tab and then click on this little icon here which is fx which is basically nothing but conditional formatting and then from here you need to select rules so based on what field are you trying to color the uh, visual here which is the actual kpi we're going to use the sum function here and then we need we need to add the values over here so let us add uh, if it is greater than or equals to zero and then less than it less than 25 percent okay i'm going to say 0 0.25 so this is going to be red for me because we have not achieved the target we have only achieved 25 percent of it okay and then i'm going to add a new rule here and now i'm going to call this as greater than 25 percent and less than uh, 50 percent now this is going to be in a slighter uh, lighter shade of the red okay and then i'm going to add a new rule here which says that greater than or equals to uh, 50 percent and then less than let's say 75 percent okay let's change this to uh, a slightly orangish color okay uh, let's choose a different color from here uh, and then choose something like this okay and then let's add another rule here which is greater than equals to 75 percent but less than uh, 100 that's one okay so let's mark this as a uh, green color okay let's add a lighter shade of the green probably okay and then let's add another rule here if we have exceeded our targets greater than one and let's give some higher number here let's say 500 percent less than 500 percent then i need a uh, let's say a uh, darker green be something from here or or maybe how about blue here okay let's go with the blue 
okay so then let's click okay now so you can see here now the color has automatically changed to red i'm going to quickly copy this and paste this uh, about four times because we have four years here in our uh, data set as you can see so and then quickly we'll change this uh, visual filter here for the year so this will become 2021 and this will become 2020 and then this will become 2019 all right so you can see here uh, one thing that i think one change that we need to make here is go to data colors go to the condition here so we're saying greater than equals to 100 so we'll change this to greater than so that it, it does not really overlap so now you can see that we have changed the colors here conditionally using the conditional formatting and we've also created the kpi uh, gauge card and we have different filters here of different colors here and you can also change the color of the target here let's say you want uh, the yellow color you can you can do that or any other color for that matter let's say you want a dark red you can choose that as well so that your target line is very clearly visible right so this is how you use the gate chart and this is a very useful chart especially when you have your kpis on your dashboard to present this to your leadership team I hope this video has helped you. You've learned something new today. Please consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials.